Matt Doherty's Tar Heels are only five games into the season, but it must seem like an eternity after posting a one and four record. Still, the win came in the game that counts the most so far, a conference victory over Georgia Tech. Today, they host Binghamton University from New York, where Coach Al Walker is also in his second season. Junior Jeffrey St. Fort leads the Bearcats in scoring and rebounding. It's the Binghamton Bearcats facing the North Carolina Tar Heels next. Welcome as Raycom Sports and Jefferson Pilot Sports presents ACC Basketball. Today, the North Carolina Tar Heels home at Chapel Hill to take on Binghamton University. A team that's playing its first year in Division I, Binghamton University, a mixture of players who've been here before and players new to the program having an impact like Charles Baker. Well, Baker by far is their best shooter from the outside. He also gives them some toughness. He's a terrific individual defender. Look for him to pressure up the floor. He's also a go-to guy at the end. And for Al Walker, this is the biggest stage they've ever played on. And they hope to take advantage of it, taking on the Tar Heels. Picks up the rebound. Here comes Cato. Waits the defense to floor by and a block by Billings. Billings will secure the ball and the pace starts to pick up. The game starts to race up and down the court for both of these teams. Scott gets a nice screen from Capel that rubbed off White and he gets the jump shot. I uh, had to make a change somehow. Uh, they were spreading the man to man and uh, now I think they'll just sit back, congest things and make them prove themselves from the outside. And St. Fort gets them on the board with a basket. Nice move inside. I'll tell you a little interesting story about him. It came to the States to play ball really by accident. Nice three-pointer from the corner by St. Fort. That makes it 14 to 5. Fit. White gets it. Three on three break. Three guards. White with a three. Got it. And now all of a sudden. Binghamton has a pulse. Long rebound. Armagne. Steers it down to the baseline. Kicks it back for Dawes for three. And that's the third three-pointer for Binghamton. And it cuts the lead to five. The guard that's been in the game so far for Carolina. Melvin Scott in a little bit of foul trouble with two early. Here's the shot by Johnson from the corner. The three ball is good. That's the third three-pointer for North Carolina. And Charles Baker doing the job. Wright comes into front court. He sets up a three, and it's his third three of the afternoon. He has 11 to lead Binghamton, and the Bearcats close to within five again. Shot clock goes down. Here's a steal. It's by Billings, and he's on his way for a highlight. Young kid with lots of energy, Billings from Kodiak, Alaska. That's not Burstiger's game right there, plus he's got a seven-footer on him. Dawes for the tie! The three-pointer, Dawes, his third three-ball of the afternoon, has nine, and Binghamton has come from 12 points and 11 points down to tie this ball game via three-point ball. Melvin Scott from the side. Nice jump shot by the freshman. Melvin Scott with seven. Tar Heels lead by two. Mal Walker leaves the Dean Smith center court with a smile on his face as he heads to talk to his team at halftime. And he should be happy. Binghamton staying close to the high-flying Tar Heels, trailing by only two. Hard to deliver. Scott on the exchange turns it right over to Andrew Hannon. He'll run the floor and try to score on Johnson and does. So Hannon ties it up at 32 all with a fast break basket off the turnover. You know, for Capel, it's, it's tough. It's tough to reignite yourself when you're shooting jump shots and he can't get position in low. St. Fort gives Binghamton their first lead of the afternoon. Scott surveys the defense. It's a straight man for Binghamton. Johnson on the wing, wants Capel in the post. Capel drops step and gets his first basket of the night. And Matt Doherty hopes that that ignites Jason Capel. You know, easy points. That's only the second offensive rebound that Carolina has gotten today, but uh, Capel has been all over the glass. Oh, Cheedy continues the three-point barrage for Binghamton. That's the ninth for them as a team. Lang had good defensive presence. Here's Williams, baseline. Puts the shot up and waits to get fouled, and now Billings and Lang are going to go after it. I don't like there's any call as a result of that. Just the watchful eyes of the official for further breakouts. And one thing that Matt Doherty doesn't want is Chris Lane to be forced from this ball game. This is the weak side. Those two are locked up in there, and that actually prevented Billings from coming over to help, and then he gets underneath Chris Lang, and they have a few kind words for each other in this holiday season. Holmes circulates to right. Green up on him. Baker tries to drive, and despite the effort of Lane, Baker gets the basket. His first of the afternoon. Screen and roll. Set a nice pick for Morrison, but blocking it, Yost Owens. Three on two break, now four on two with a trailer. Right for three. 
Cannon boards them in. He'll go up and score. Two baskets in close for Binghamton. Four points for Hannon. It's a three-point tar he'll lead. Joe Stones, nice pass to right for two more. It's always there. Carolina is really going to press out on the wings and the pressure released. Ryan Morrison stolen by Wright. Two on two break, now three on two with a trailer. In the corner now, Baker feeds the post. Jeffrey St. Fort has Lang on him. Drives the hook that goes up and in. Cuts the lead to one again. St. Fort with nine. First stick to fade and fire. Boarded by Mike Wright. Right into front court. Nice pass to the open Charles Baker. Skip pass to Dawes, three-point shooter. Got it again, his fourth of the day. 12 points for Jeffrey Dawes and ties it for the fourth time at 48. Well, he got them reignited in the first half. Walk by Billings, denies first sticker at the rim. Here comes Dawes again. Post in St. Fort. Wright pushes out now to Dawes for three more. Five three-pointers from Jeffrey Dawes has 15 for the game, and for the fifth time, Mike, it's tied at 51. Baker off to Watson. Watson looking for Dawes for three more. Oh, my goodness. Six three-pointers. Jeffrey Dawes, he's got 18. Big smile on Al Walker's face on the Binghamton sideline. Binghamton leads by three. Now what Al Walker has, he's got to calm his team down right now. Where he had to really coax them into this game earlier, he's got to get them on an even keel. St. Fort gets to the rim, throws it in. And the Bearcats have their biggest lead of the afternoon. That is 11 points for St. Fort and a timeout call by the Tar Heels. With 3.55 left to go here in the second half, Binghamton has opened up a 56-51 lead. It's a short timeout, 30-second, 20-second timeout taken by the Tar Heels to talk things over. But what play by the Bearcats and a Cinderella story is becoming more real for the Bearcats team right now under Al Walker. Jeffrey Dawes, the flavor of the day for Binghamton. What a day he's had. Six three-pointers. Only been to the free throw line four times this year, Steve. So again, you talk pressure situation. You haven't been there. A little bit different story. He cans the first. He's up for another. Dawes with 19. That ties a career high for Dawes. It's already a season high, obviously. This one will break one if he gets it. Well, I guarantee you it's never been in the, against uh, this team in this type of situation. Uh, it's by far the, the game of his career. A minute 50 left to play. Inside. St. Four at the rim. His 11th point of the game. And it's a three-point lead again for Binghamton. Scott at the top of the floor. Time to spin away from Baker. Cable for three. Wow, what a time for that! Jason Capel with the three ball. North Carolina by one. Capel is camped on one wing. Scott on another. Ten on the shot clock now. Now under that. Ball turned over. Yost Holmes picks up the pickoff. Here comes Watson. Shot clock is gone. 14 to play. Watson to the hoop. Spanked out of there by Lang. Inbounds play, off the dog, for three. No, it won't go that time. St. Ford's step back goes out of bounds. Tar Heels ball, timeout North Carolina with six seconds left to go. Now, Jeffrey Dawes just had his hands on his head. He got a great look at it. He's been knocking down that shot all game long, but couldn't come up with it on that play. You see the scrum inside. A couple players there, and uh, they're calling. They're going to say that Scott had possession and called timeout on the play. Wow, Ted Valentine making the call, and the Tar Heels get a timeout as Scott was headed out of bounds. Goes to Scott. Five, four, three seconds. The foul coming up with 2.2 seconds. Scott goes to the free throw line. Some important foul shots here. And now, too, you got to look at the situation where uh, Al Walker has to make this play up from the bench. Our heels, 13 of 19 from the line. And they keep Binghamton into it, provided the Bearcats can get the rebound. Stop, one more. Out, one second, half the gun, Dawes to win. No. And North 
North Carolina holds off Binghamton in a hard fought battle here in Chapel Hill. What an effort by Binghamton, but yet you look at Judge Jason Cable and the assist that he has, the basket at the rim, the big three pointer that put North Carolina in the lead, and the Tar Heels come away with a win. 61-60 over Binghamton. A great game here in Chapel Hill on your free holiday fair. Back with more from the Spit Center right after this. A tough effort from Binghamton. It was. They're a talented team. They're better than their record. They're as good as Davidson or Hampton or some of the teams that we played already, and it's a good test for us. We didn't take them lightly. I told the guys in the locker room, I'd take a one-point win. I probably should have said I'd take a 20-point win. They listened too good, but uh, Jason really held the team together. Chris was sick, and it was just an effort that we had to gut out and we did. North Carolina's second win of the season doesn't come easy. They defeat Binghamton by a score of 61-60. A spirited battle by Binghamton that came in, but really, Matt Doherty said defense might define his team this afternoon, mm -hmm. and it did, and it forced Binghamton to change some of the things and burn precious timeouts. Yeah, they, they didn't get as many good looks. I mean, Dawes had a, a flurry late where he hit some threes, but the opportunities were much more tougher to come by, and I really thought Binghamton got a little back on their heels. Uh, they didn't get many breakout baskets. The Carolina kept them in the half court. As a matter of fact, they kept them above the free throw line for most of those possessions. And that defense helped Carolina create some easy baskets for the game. Our Pepsi players of the game, Jeffrey Dawes. What a magnificent performance for this young man out of Binghamton. 19 points. He hit six three-pointers on the day. And Jason Capel, despite not shooting well in the first half, he had the fortitude to take the big shot at step-up time with a double-double his third of the season, plus seven assists. The final score is North Carolina beating Binghamton, 61-60. Final word from the Smith Center right after this. Thank you.